I'm Dr. Brant Pedersen from Positive Motion Chiropractic, and I am amazed at how many people will have low back pain, lumbar disc problems, lumbar disc bulges or herniations, problems with pain going down their legs. And they've been to professionals, they've been to their primary care doc, an orthopedist, a physical therapist, an acupuncturist, other chiropractors, and yet they still don't have a concept of what made their back go out. And to me, that is fundamental that a patient understands the biomechanics and how the spine works so they know how they got in this problem. What I'd like to share with you right now is how the spine in your lower back is meant to work and what causes the majority of disc problems and low back pain. This is the spine up here is the base of the skull. These are your vertebrae, you have 24 of them. And here is your pelvis, sacrum, these are called your ilium. Spine is divided into the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine. The bottom five vertebrae are your lumbar spine. And they're numbered from the top to the bottom. So uh, L5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here we'd hit thoracic 12. Uh, these are your vertebral bodies. And in between those, your discs are kind of a cartilaginous substance on the outside. And on the inside, it's almost like a jelly uh, that's mobile. When we get a disc herniation, that's that jelly kind of uh, leaking out of the disc. Uh, and also you can notice these yellow things here. These are your spinal nerves. The nerves coming out of your lumbar spine go down into your legs. The ones coming out of your neck go into your arms. And let's talk about how we wear out our backs, wear out our discs, get them hurt. On the back of the spine here, we see these little joints. These joints are called your facet joints. You can see it moving there. Facet joints, they're about the size of my pinky. And the muscles around your low back, there's a lot of them, but they're small like my fingers. Then we have the hip joint. The hip joint here is about the size of my fist. You could think of this as a kid's razor scooter, and this is a semi-truck. About the size of my fist, and the muscles around your hip the biggest, strongest, most powerful muscles in your body, your glute, your hamstring, your quadriceps, your psoas. The best athletes in the world, they know that to win, they need to generate their power in their hips. So when you're going to bend over to brush your teeth, to grab, to grab your shoes in the morning, to unload the dishwasher, are you gonna bend from these little joints here, these facet joints, or are you gonna bend from your hips? And I'll let you know what most people do is they bend from these joints in their back. And over time, that takes and pushes the disc material back towards where it inevitably bulges. It would look like this, someone bending at their back to brush their teeth or to grab something. I look like an old man here, right? versus them bending at their hips and keeping their spine straight. You can learn how to move properly and in doing so, heal your back and also keep your back from getting hurt in the future. Please watch for other videos that we have where we teach you some of the things that you can do to relearn these habits. To recap, in this video, we covered why the structures in your back get damaged like your discs because we're bending at our lumbar vertebra, at our facets, instead of bending to pick up things or bending down at our hips. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. We know that it can help people, and by you sharing it, you're gonna help those that you love.